Top 7 Things to See and Do in Venice, Italy 1. Visit St. Mark's Square Piazza San Marco is the most crowded public square and one of the most happening places to visit in Venice, located in front of St. Mark's Basilica and Doge's Palace. The square is separated from the palace by a small inland waterway, known as the Rio Batario. This is the place where all the government buildings and other offices are located in Venice. If you want to see St. Mark's without thousands of other visitors, we suggest going early when the sun rises or significantly later in the evening, after midnight. If you go at night, it is one of the most romantic things to see in Venice. 2. Grand Canal The Grand Canal also called the Canalazzo by Venetians is the largest canal of the city, dividing it in half. With its unique inverted S shape it extends for more or less 4 kilometers. There are wonderful palaces, churches, and museums overlooking it and the best way to make the most of its views is by riding a gondola. There are only four bridges crossing the Grand Canal, the Rialto Bridge, the Academia Bridge, Ponte degli Scalzi and Constitution Bridge. The best panoramas you can enjoy of the canal are from the Rialto and the Academia Bridges. The Grand Canal is quite trafficked all day long with gondolas, water taxis, private small boats and water buses navigating it. To enjoy the city in silence, go for a gondola ride in the evening or night. 3. Bridge of Size You may be surprised to find that the beautiful Bridge of Size was the solution to a problem you may not have even considered. In every city there is crime, so even in Venice, there were prisoners. Spanning the canal between the Doge's palace and the prison, the Bridge of Size was used for moving prisoners through a secure zone to their cells. Built to move prisoners from the torture chamber in the Doge's palace to a new prison building, the ornate bridge was designed to hide its grotesque purpose. Completed in the 17th century, the bridge was built in the Baroque style and is the only covered bridge in Venice. Local legend says that the Bridge of Size is so called because prisoners passing over the crossing could peer from its barred window for a final view of Venice, before being locked away in cells. 4. Island Burano To the northeast of Venice lies the small, colorful island of Burano, which is an essential part of a trip to Venice. You can easily visit Burano in an afternoon. The island has just 2,700 inhabitants and is 45 minutes away by the Vaporetto Line 12. It's famous for its charming, colorful houses. Blue, yellow, purple, no color is too bold for the inhabitants of Burano. It's said that fishermen used to paint their houses this way so they could spot them even in the thickest fog. Burano is also famous for its intricate lace embroidery, which you can buy everywhere here. 5. Venetian Gondolas The gondolas of Venice are a traditional form of slow travel around the waterways and canals of the city. At over 10 meters long, each gondola is owned and maintained by its own gondolier who wears a striped top, black trousers, and straw hat. Once the main form of transportation in Venice for wealthy citizens, as many as 10,000 gondolas once frequented the canals. These days, a fleet of only around 400 gondolas is active within Venice. Each gondola navigates the waterways, giving rides for about 40 minutes at a time. Be sure to confirm the rates of a gondola ride before you visit if this is something that's on your bucket list. 6. Santa Maria della Salute One of the most photographed churches in Venice, Santa Maria della Salute has a postcard setting rising at the tip of a peninsula across from the Doge's Palace. The monumental Baroque church was built as thanks for the end of the plague of 1630. But the fragile land wouldn't support its tremendous weight, so its architect, Baldassare Longhina, had more than a million timbers driven into the floor of the lagoon before he could erect the church. The Vaporetto landing is right in front of the church, and the highlight of its interior, apart from the magnificent dome, is the sacristy, where you'll find paintings that include Tintoretto's marriage at Cana. 7. Venice Carnival The Venice Carnival is the highlight of the year in the Lagoon City. 
Exactly 10 days before Ash Wednesday, it starts with a big opening ceremony, where an acrobat dressed as an angel floats down from St. Mark's Tower to St. Mark's Square. This day also sees the historic boat parade on the Grand Canal, with around 120 gondolas with costumed boaters and much fanfare passing cheering spectators. In the following days, Venice's streets are abuzz with music, stage plays, puppet shows, and street performers. The masks and costumes from the 18th century are quite traditional, with sweeping ball gowns and colorful headdresses. Most of them are handmade and are worth a few thousand euros. You can also rent them by the day and join the parade. The Venice Carnival is an event absolutely worth seeing, even if it gets incredibly crowded. Especially on the weekend leading up to Ash Wednesday, the city is filled with day trippers from the surrounding countryside and the rest of Italy. Please subscribe our channel if you like our contents. Thanks for watching.